and what you do and how you help Connecticut because you have such a great idea. In summer, we've got chips, we've got electric motor bites. Tell me a little bit about your company, how it got started. Yeah, we started in 2018 in Brantford, and this past year we moved to North Brantford, Connecticut. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're building an electric moped, uh, also electric bikes. And this past year, we worked with Paul, and we're able to bring two new bikes to manufacturing. Uh, so really excited wow. about that. And the coolest thing about the new bikes is it's really a collaboration between a lot of Connecticut and New England companies. Oh, I love that. So for example, our laser cut parts are from CFA, which is in Milford. Uh, it's welded right down the road by uh, classic welding, painted by BNC powder coating. Seats are from Tapia Seats. It just goes on and on like that. So it's really this, this whole collaboration build between a lot of different companies in the area. So and really that's another it. reason why we like to highlight Connecticut manufacturing here on this program because, you know, we have Bridgeport here. We have people getting jobs and employed here and great product coming out. You're using actual local companies here yes. and you're just kind of keeping it all in our state. Um, what is the difference really for an enthusiast, a bike enthusiast, between a gas and electric bike? The main things are maintenance, right? Okay. So a lot of people will get a gas motorcycle or get a gas moped, and it'll be awesome for one season, and then they'll go start it up after the winter time, that thing won't go, and it will just remain in their shed. With electric, it will just turn on, and you basically just have to change the brake pads okay. and make sure your connections are good. So the maintenance is really low. Mm -hmm. um, they're also silent, so you're not gonna be oh. annoying your neighbors. Uh, there's no fumes. And then on a day like today, there's no heat that they're putting out. So something yeah. that people don't think about on a motorcycle is that thing puts out a lot of heat it when sure you're in the summertime. And on a bike like this, you're staying nice and cool. So, our, our, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying to be a speed demon or anything, but does it go fast or does it have reduced speed because it's electric or what are, what, how does that work? Yeah, so one of the goals of Spark was to create an electric bike that was designed for New England riding. So in the beginning in 2018, there were very few bike lanes. That's changed now. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to make something that could keep up on those 25 to 45 mile per hour roads. Okay. So our bike will do moped speeds, so it'll do 35 to 40 okay. easily. If you're on private property, you can do up to 60. Okay. Um, but it's it's not an e-bike that's designed for 15 to 20 miles an hour. It's a bit faster than that. Yeah, my goodness. And how and what what specifically what are we looking at and how many versions do you have? Yeah, so we have two different models. The mm -hmm. bike that's in front of you is called the Brute. Uh, and it kind of gets its name for a good reason. It has, you know, a very heavy weight capacity on it, mm -hmm. can carry tons of gear on it. We're selling a lot of these to people out um, in the West Coast and okay. things like that, but also in New England. And then we have a bike called the Javelin, which is basically like a light electric motorcycle. Um, it's a, a very different kind of setup, and we usually call that a suburban commuter. Okay. So something that's good for maybe 30 to 60 miles. Uh, you take the battery out, charge it at work, I love and it. you ride home.